Alright. What were we talking about? Babies. Hey guys. Hold on. Let's do an intro. <laughs> Are we doing one? Yeah. What's the show got? We don't have time for this? Yeah. Hold on. Here. Just follow my lead. Oh, okay. I'll follow All your right. lead. I got this. Alright, don't look. You don't have to look at the mic, okay? If you look close enough, you can see the viewers. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, I'm Josh. Hey, and I'm Eric. We don't have time for this. This is a podcast where we just sit whenever we have time and talk about nerd crap. Um, hey, this show was originally conceived three months ago. Yeah, no. When we sat down and said, let's do a podcast, and it took us three months to find enough time to record that's this half, episode for that's you. That's half my fault, half your fault, I think. Because it's just like, hey, let's do it this time. And you're like, oh, I can't do it. And then you're like... Spring it on me. Hey, I can record. And I'm like, yeah, I'm in Delaware. You're in <laughs> Delaware, or are cars going to down to the downtown? Yeah, no, things happen. Things or happen. I had a baby. Yeah, no, that kind of threw a wrench in things. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're a couple dads uh, just trying to find a time to, you know, sit down and be nerdy. Uh, every m- once a month. Oh, is that what we're shooting for? No, no, I'm, no, I'm saying, like, uh, I was going to talk about Blades in the Dark. Oh, like, oh. we. That that's how little time we have yeah. for things. Once a month, we get together with some people and play Blades in the Dark, mm-hmm. a pen and paper, tabletop RPG, whatever you want to call it. And that's how little time we have for this kind of thing. Our last game was pretty great. It was all right. Really? I was looking. Sean always. Uh, Sean's our GM. Sean uh, always tweets out like a summary of he it. He lost our character sheets. <laughs> well, he, well <laughs> he did, but he moved. And he's oh. a busy guy. Yeah, he did oh, move. Okay. So they're probably, like, they're probably In a somewhere. box somewhere. Yeah, in a box. Yeah. Like, okay. Labeled. I didn't. I didn't it, labeled that. important documents. They're right next to uh, his birth certificate. <laughs> Social security card. <laughs> they're in the safe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So what were we talking about? We were talking about... We import- don't have time for this. In, in, yeah. No, I, I mean, like, important fictional babies. Yeah, yeah. I was showing pictures of my baby to... Yeah, um, no. You have a baby named Freya. Yeah. And I have a 10-year-old... <laughs> I got a head start on you. A giant, yeah. What tri, um, what trimester is he in now? <laughs> uh, Probably like 200 or yeah. something. I don't know. 40th. 40th. Like he's that. in the 40th trimester yeah. of his life. Good for him. Yeah, no, he's doing He's doing all right. Yeah, yeah. My baby good. just started making dinosaur noises, so she's exploring her voice. What did your baby do? Your, how old is your baby? He, uh... Surge is 10. Okay, so what has your 10-year-old baby done? We're talking baby milestones. Right now or baby-wise? Because I... Okay, I have a YouTube video of him, like... He wasn't a loud baby, thank God. Um, he... Really? Yeah, no. It, there's just lots of him sitting there looking at things. And, like, there's a YouTube video of him just, like... His mother was filming him and, like, he was just laying there and she's... And he... Like flails his fists around, yeah, and, and she's just like, "Don't punch yourself in the eye," and then like, Sometimes literally five seconds, literally five seconds later, punches himself in the eye. Babies are stupid. That's why we're here. Babies are figuring out like everything. Like if we're like, "Oh, this is how I move my arm," the baby's how like, they "Function." Yeah, yeah. The ba- like the baby. I heard someone say like, "When you're a baby, that's basically like the life. That's a tutorial of like how to make your body move. Like that's like <laughs> the move that you know how we're like, oh, move the joystick forward to walk.' I know that you dummy, but a baby's like, oh." Oh, oh! Oh! I get it. Yeah. No. Once once your girls start walking, yeah. once when she starts walking, she's not gonna stop. Ever. That's how every single child is. Once they figure out how to function, once they figure out how to get going, she, she already a like wonder. figured out like how to hold the bottle, and now she's like, "Dad, I don't, <laughs> I don't need, I don't need to hold that bottle. I got it." And yeah. then I'll check on her, and like they're just mo- milk all over her face. I'm like, no, you don't got it. You still need me to help. She's like, no, I got it. You big dumb idiot. You, you big dumb idiot. Yeah, I got it. I'm like, no, no, you need help. Now we got to change your outfit. She's like, I don't know how to do that, but I can hold this bottle. Here, I'm gonna go. I don't this. know. What do you want? What do you want to talk about, Eric? Besides baby. Well, Josh, our time is I know, so precious. I know, I know your baby is important. <sighs> My baby's important to me. Well, we were talking about here to transition to video games. We were talking about best babies in video games. Yeah. Um. Okay. Best, my favorite baby playing as a baby. Okay. Okay, is the beginning of Fallout Three. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, the tutorial is you as a baby, like, hey, look around, like, oh, you're you're. Is that Liam Neeson? That's the dad. Yes. 
that's amazing. Because I remember thinking it was him, and then people telling me it wasn't him. And then I was like, it sounds like it's him. It, he's in the game so little. Like, yeah. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, man, I spent so much of that game just wandering around, yeah. completely ignoring the dag quest. I, can I tell you, I never made it to Megaton. I I, I <laughs> That's like the first major city. <laughs> I never did. But I, I put probably, I didn't put a ton of time, I probably put 20-something hours into it. I just never made it to Megaton. No, no, okay, to be fair, yeah, no. That's how I played Fallout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I played Fallout 4. I, like, it took me forever to get to Diamond City, which is like the first big, huge major city. Diamond City. It's named that because there's like a baseball field in there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I um, never played Fallout 4. I, I didn't. I, I kind of gave up on it after Diamond City. It, it, I, I Fallout's kind of lost the magic for me. I don't know. Um, Man. I love games where you can just fart around and explore and completely ignore the main quest. No. No. <laughs> Eric's doing the poop in sign language. <laughs> And I hate it. Well, I'm doing the, I'm specifically doing the fart. My daughter's hard of hearing, and I'm learning ASL, American Sign Language, so that I can communicate with her later. And you're sitting there the whole time while we're playing Blades in the Dark. Josh, mm-hmm. yeah, I know, because you only know what you do. And I get, you gotta practice, right? You're not sitting there pooping, though. You're not sitting there pooping. But if you, <laughs> you sign, <laughs> if you sign like what you hear, like, here, here, Josh, <laughs> Josh, Josh, <laughs> yes, you're my friend. Okay. You're... This is great pra- podcast audio, uh, by the way. A bear. That's good to know, actually. Bear and sign language. Yeah, yeah. Bear's really good. To warn the death. <laughs> yeah, to be like... The de- eventual invasion. Of- so, uh, we're going to figure out how great ASL translates to an audio. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not. Let's not. Okay, let's not do that. All right, so, okay. You Have you seen Spider-Man Hong Kong yet? Yeah. Okay. Someone told me it was a great movie. I yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. No, it's very good. Probably on. Okay, yeah. No, I okay, wanted to talk to you about this. Talk about okay. yes. Why it's my favorite Marvel movie. Period. Do it. Okay. Like none of them. Out of all of them, all the MCU. seventeen of them. Are there seventeen? There's a I, lot. I don't know, man. Okay. I, I think like Infinity War Part Two is supposed to be like the twenty fifth or something. So like, um, there's there's so many movies. I, that's the thing. So many of them run together for me. Like, like they merge together. Like, other than Iron Man 3, there are none of them that stand out to me. Like, really? Like, all of them are... Oh, really? All of them... Alright, you're wearing an Avengers shirt right now. Both Avengers movies have been good. Um, Ant-Man was slightly better than good to me. Okay. I, li- I prefer them when they're comedies, I guess. That's why I love... Homecoming so much. Yeah, Homecoming was one of the funniest ones. I thought Ant-Man was pretty funny, too. Yeah, no, I, I, I think when certain movies are trying too hard, like, they're big dumb action movies to with comedy. Too serious? Like, no, no too but to comedic. Funny? Yeah. yeah, like, like, I like Guardians of the Galaxy's humor, but it's, I feel like there's also too much big dumb action movie in there uh, to, like, counterbalance you it. need the big dumb action movie though because that's why people are there but okay okay i i read comics for character development <laughs> i guess you know what i mean like i care more about like Wait, I the think it... i care more about the things happening to peter parker than i care about like uh, world ending <laughs> infinity war what if the next guardians movie it's a you double down on the humor right it's just like a whose line is it anyway but with Guardians just cast a ske- members. a sketch movie? Yeah, yeah, a sketch movie. Like, okay, Raccoon, okay, now we're doing the hoedown, Rocket, you know? No. <laughs> That's a great idea, right? No, it's not. Oh. It's really not. <laughs> I, okay. Spider-Man Homecoming is very, it's incredibly well-written in terms of, like, actual human problems. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 Iron Man 2 tries to with, like, Tony's alcoholism, but they don't go far enough into it. Well, they make alcoholism seem really funny. Right? Well, until he, like, gets in a fight with Rhodey and, you know. But even that, like, they're joking. Like, I get that that's really serious, but they kind of play up the... Like, that's not like a demon in the bottle situation. That, that's what I'm saying. Oh. They, they didn't try hard enough. You're getting... <laughs> I get... Listeners, he just slapped me. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, pull yourself together. It's like... Okay, here's the thing that happened. Yeah. We're gonna only dwell on it for, like, one scene. 
Yeah. And and then okay, then he's gonna go fight with Lash. We'll cut to him on a big donut. Well, here counterpoint. I think I kind of love them all. I don't think there's one that I don't love. I don't dislike any of them. Okay. I think all of them are. Let's figure out a scale, like scale five. Uh, let's say five uh, beards, because you've got a beard on your head. Five beard. How many beards? A beard on my head. <laughs> I guess technically. Yeah, anyway. it's on your head, from it, your chin to your skull. It's, it's the, the general your head. area. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, how many beards out of five would you give them on average? Can we do a ten scale? Oh, is ten I, better I, for I you? I feel like you it, can do point five beards though. Half like, beards. Yeah, like yours. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you. <laughs> so we're painting a picture, guys. Okay. Um, Full beard, Josh. Half beard, Eric. Yeah. No hair, both of us. Right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, two, both wearing glasses. Two bald dads. Two bald dads. It's the alternate podcast. Um, guys, there's like so much sexy in this room right now between the two of us. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was supposed to be a family friendly podcast. It is. You tell me, kids don't know the word sexy. That's I, okay. I, they don't. Whatever. Wait, is Guardians kid family friendly? Yes. Did he make a joke about good thing you don't have a black light in here or be a Jackson Pollock painting? Yeah, that, that was, yeah, yeah, but he didn't like. He wasn't so overt about it. There was a lot of well. There was a lot. Of, okay, it doesn't matter. I think it, it literally doesn't matter. We'll discuss okay. what things are family friendly right, or not later. Beard scale. All right, tell me a movie and I'll tell you what I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's shoot it that way. Let's just go. Okay. Let's go original. The first Avengers. Out of ten beards, or are you doing point five beards? Point five. Okay. I'll do point five. Half beards. Cool. Um, like mine. Yeah. Uh, Three point five. Okay. Loki was very good in that one. Um, I didn't think he was so good in the other one. Have movies. you ever seen the test footage of when he wanted to be Thor? No. Holy crap, it's terrifying. So because he's not, he's a great Loki, right? Tom yeah. Hiddleston. Um, in the special features, but he originally auditioned to be Thor. He's and not like a muscular dude. Picture skinny little Tom Hiddleston with a blonde hair on his head, and it's like, it's like a bizarre world I never want to visit. Right? That's, that's weird. I, I know. I and don't get me wrong. Uh, the ladies love Tom Hiddleston, though. Yeah. No, he's got a look. He's just not Thor. Amanda doesn't like. It. Does Allison like Tom I Hiddleston? Know. I don't know. You don't know? Oh, I just know like my like my wife Amanda is not into him. She thinks he looks like a lizard person. So he's very <laughs> slithery, right? Yeah. No, he he's a good Loki because he looks slimy. Yeah, slimy and like his hair always looks like. Maybe you could watch it one more time. It's because of the long black hair yeah. that like it it's yeah it's long straight hair. Yeah. Okay, shoot another movie at me. Okay. Uh, okay, Ant Man. Ant Man four. Four point two five. Okay, no. Cur- curveballs coming. Okay, Batman versus Superman. Like two and a half. I don't know. You know what? I'll take it. Two and a half sounds pretty good. Like it's not nearly as terrible as some people think it is. You know, but what? it's so all over the place, and there are so many scenes missing that they put on their YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Which is so weird. Well, it it felt like a movie that they could have like because I've watched it a lot, and for the listeners, I would give it. Did we do? Yeah, five. I give it five beards out of five. I love it. Really? But I, I do, I do. I love it. But I see it's. I still see its faults. Like it seems like at the same time it needs to explain more, and at the same time cut a lot out at the same exact time. Having said that, I mean, my girl gal it, was in it. It needs to rearrange like all of its content to actually be coherent. Yeah, it kind of has to. But, I mean, the overall, like, what the movie is, I had no problem. Like, I liked Batman, and I liked everyone hanging out for a few seconds, and the promise of... uh, Because it's called Dawn of Justice, right? Yeah. And it's darkest before the dawn. I, yeah. I I still have no faith in the Justice League movie. No faith? No. Zero. How many beards in faith? Faith beards. Zero. Zero. (laughs) Just a clean-shaven face. (laughs) I okay. Let's let's go with zero expectations. Okay. okay. What do you think of Wonder Woman? Uh, that was four four and a half. Honestly, beards out. Of Are five. we gonna keep the beards? Yeah, like, why not? Is this canon now? Sure. Four beards out of five. I'm pretty happy. With I, that. I'd go four and a half. Yeah. I, I'd say it's pretty high up there. Like just in terms of char- actual character development. Yeah. And like, it's not repeating an origin we've had a million times. Well, you know, you know why. Yeah, no. Because there's never been another Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. You know? The last 
what the last major Wonder Woman thing uh, besides the comics was Linda Carter. Linda Carter, yeah. Besides, yeah, besides the comics and besides Batman versus Superman, because she you know showed yeah. up and it's kind of to be honest, kind of the best part of that whole movie was uh, Linda Carter. Which, by the way, did I tell you lives in our area? No, I didn't. Know yeah, Linda Carter lives in the D.C. area. I've been tweeting at her to get her to come to a library event. I, I'm a librarian, so I'm, I'm trying to get her to come. Don't. Just just keep it, like, I know. Fan. I know. Don't, it's hard. Don't, you gotta walk that creepy line. Yeah, no, don't, like, make a Twitter account with her picture and, like, <laughs> Linda Carter fan. Oh, here, let me tell you something I've done. And you tell me creepy or no creepy. Okay. Okay. I tweet at her and say, hey, I'm a librarian. Would you like to come to this event? Yeah. Creepy or no creepy? On on what? On, on email? Or? On tweet, a tweeter. I, a tweet, tweeter? At the old tweeter. <laughs> I tweeted at her. Creepy yeah. or no creepy? That's fine. Okay. I, I, I just figure, like, if you're going to want to book her for something, there's a contact information for that. Like an agent? Yeah. Um, I dress my daughter as Wonder Woman and have a handwritten sign saying, can you join me? At my library event. That's that's getting up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's well, like please. That's that. That's it. That's exploiting your daughter. <laughs> it it is a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. It is, but it's for the greater good. You know, of the I, community. <laughs> I guess I I don't know what is Linda Carter doing these days. Rowing. Apparently, she's a huge rower. She rows up and down the Potomac. Oh. How do I know that? I won't tell you. <laughs> tell you. And she posting. loves going to Whole Foods. And she... If she's... <laughs> and I mean, she's really good at... And she gases out. up at 7 a.m. Thank you. She's, once a week. She's really good at uh, 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 um, sorting her garbage every day. And man, she eats the most amazing foods. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, this joke has gone on way too long. Uh, I know. To Linda stop. Carter, if you're listening. Um, no. No, she's not. I guarantee you. You don't think so? No. If anyone knows Linda Carter. No. No? No. If anyone's heard of Linda Carter? Let's resume talking about movies before this goes sure. <laughs> higher on the stalker scale. What are we doing? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? What's your favorite Marvel movie so far? Com- just or, just com- Marvel. Uh, Comic book? Let's talk about Marvel because you're wearing a freaking Avengers shirt. I am wearing an Avengers shirt. I kind of picked this at... Ra- well, no, I'll tell you why I picked this shirt. It's because it fits me really well. <laughs> I have some shirts I've bought that, like, fit me well, and now uh, they are... There's less space in the shirt than there used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happens, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, my favorite Marvel movie... And we're talking about Marvel Studios movie, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think my favorite one of all time will probably be... It's hard because I love them all. I would give them all probably five beards out of five, but that's just who I am. Or I would probably give them, if we're doing points, it would be all variations of four point fives and higher, I think. Um, you I know. pick your favorite child. What? You need to pick your favorite child. I know, child. I know. I'm thinking right now it's really hard. Probably the... Eric's choice. One of the three Captain Americas. Mm-hmm. Isn't there only... Oh, Civil War. Yeah, I that, know. Civil that, War, which feels like Avengers Light. It, it, I, you know I, what? I, I count, Civil War. Civil War is my favorite. I, I still count that as a freaking Avengers movie. But my favorite moment, like, kind of, like, montage, is in the first Captain America movie when they do all the uh, Star Spangled Man stuff. Like, when he's touring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that feels so good, you know? And, like, he starts and he's, like, really kind of stilted. And, the, and then slowly he's like believing the Captain America ness of himself. Yeah, yeah. And the girl, the Rockettes or whatever, you know. Yeah, I forgot what they're called. The um, Star Spangled Girls, probably. Maybe. Yeah. That's that's your personal. My name. my head cannon for yeah. them. Yeah. You know, I I'll, I like Civil War than the other. Okay, every Captain America movie is a different thing. Yeah. Uh, the first one's just a history lesson. Uh, the second one is a spy movie. Set, you know what? Two is pretty good. I, I'll put that up there in my top five. Two is good. Two also introduced us to the Winter Soldier in the movies, and he's one of the good villains, you know? Yeah, good villains. Well, I mean, like, one of the, like, like for example, Thor Ragnarok, like, Malekith was just like, 
I'm a dark elf and I hate things. And I was like, I know that you're a great actor. Why aren't we letting you do things other than just shoot dark stuff at people? Yeah. You know? Like, a lot of the Marvel villains tend to just be like like Ant-Man, right? It's a great movie. But the bad guy in that is just like, I'm just a bald rich guy who's angry. You know? Well, I mean, that's all he needed to be because yeah, all, all the personality was in Ant-Man and his homies. And I agree. But, I mean, he was just like, I feel like you could replace him with anyone, right? It could have been you. I. As a villain? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Probably more you than me. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm a nice guy. The nicest um, of guys. I guess. Uh, um, you know what? Okay. Yeah. I did like Civil War a lot. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. But it's it still devolves into big dumb action movies. We saw Civil War together. On accident, remember? <laughs> no, you happened to be there, yeah. But, I mean, you were in the same theater as me. Yeah, no. We were all walking out. I was like, what? I remember we went and we uh, grabbed lunch afterwards. It's just yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like Civil War. It's probably my favorite one because I'm a big fan of like heroes fighting heroes. Because when I was a kid, biggest question on the school yard is who's going to win in a fight? Right? Yeah, Superman and Goku. Thank yeah. you. Oh, I know. Which, by the way, Goku fans, I'm sorry. What? The Super Death Battle. I mean, both of them. We're not going to argue. They, 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 well. No, no, no. You, no, eh, no, we're talking another, about movies. Is that another time? That's another, no. I, I can guess where you land on the fence. No, it, we're, not gonna, okay. we're not going to talk but about it. But anyway, because of that, who would win in a fight? Um, I like it when heroes fight each other, even if it doesn't really make sense. Like, wait, why are you fighting again? Like, you know? like Avengers vs. X-Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did you read that? I read, Um, I think I read the trade, yeah. Oh. So not like the full, you know. That one definitely didn't make sense. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Or like a lot of times in the comics, it's just like these mystical gods have shown up or whatever, and now they want people to fight. I was like, oh, yeah, Secret that's... Wars. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I was like, that's okay, that's cool. You yeah, know? it's just like, hey, you're going to a war plan now. <laughs> or do you ever see or uh, read? Uh, I think it was DC versus Marvel, like that comic. Yeah, yeah. In like I... the '90s, like each of the DC universe and the Marvel universe were uh, like two giant, like sentient brothers. Yeah, and, like they had to fight to, you know. Yeah, and then Amalgam happened. Do you remember Amalgam? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy, yeah. Oh, that's right! What was it called? Dark Claw? Yes. Wolverine? Dark Claw, Lobo the Duck. Um, uh, super Soldier? No, Super, super Soldier. Super Soldier was yeah. the Captain America S- Superman yes. mix up. And there's Bruce Wayne, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah! There was, there was lots of good stuff from that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Like Elseworlds, like Paradise. Yeah, we've got a... There's so many... I mean, there's been crossovers happening yeah. for decades, but, like, it's it's been especially crazy. And, you know, I think it was at its craziest in the 90s with, with like, Archie meets the Punisher and Batman vs. Aliens. and <laughs> Yeah, they still have kind of stuff like that going on. Like, now they have, like, right now, I think, is a series of, like, uh, one-shots that are DC heroes meeting up with Looney Tunes characters. Oh, uh, well, and, and Warner it, Brothers owns both of them. Yeah, so, which kind of makes sense, but apparently the... Elmer Fudd meeting Batman one was very good. That's what people tell did, me. Did you watch the Duck Dodgers cartoon, the the newer one that came out mm-hmm. in like early two thousands? Like there was an episode where he met up with the Green Lanterns and he ah, was a lantern. For oh, a while. that kind of makes sense though, because they're in space, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was a neat thing. I don't know. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out what is our podcast about, Josh. <laughs> Look at you looking at me. <laughs> We're just going all over the place. I that's guess that's what saying. it is. Yeah, no, that's why I wanted to... This is, the, is this the longest time we've ever talked together? No. We, I remember one of the first times I met you, we were standing in a parking lot for like an hour arguing about comic books. What, what was this at? In front of Third Eye? It, it was in front of like... I think it was Sarku. Well, that was... Or, uh, not Sarku. Um, the... Uh, the Japanese place. The, Sakura? Uh, Asa- Asahi? 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 Asahi. Was that when I first met you? I, one of them. <gasps> yeah! Oh, because it was me and you and... Uh, okay, so we're setting the origins. This is the origin episode. I just figured out. So it was me, you, and Allison. Mm-hmm. And we went and we ate at Asahi's. Mm-hmm. Remember? And that's yeah, when we got to meet each other. And that was before I, I figured out who you were, Josh. And yeah. when you would say stuff like... Uh, I, this is most of our conversations, listeners. This is me. I love it! And then Josh says... Why? <laughs> Thank you! And that's why we were talking about uh, arguing, having a conversation, what, you know, yeah. 
different sides of the same coin. And that's the, yeah, that's right. That was a long you conversation. You know what? I, 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 love, I love arguing with you about things because you have this crazy positive outlook on I, it. I love, yeah, and I know a lot of people, it probably bothers some people, but I love most things that I watch, read, or otherwise consume. Or interact so. with in general. Or interact <laughs> with. Just the, You're a very positive person. I, yeah, most things. And it fascinates me. Yeah. Well, remember, okay, so speaking of things that I, the newest uh, trailer for the new Saw movie uh, came out. And when I said that the other day at Blades, you looked at me like I was an alien when I said how excited I was for this movie. There's what this is what the eighth song. Movie? It's probably the eighth one. Yeah, I, mean, I I was gonna say it sh- it should have stopped. It should have stopped at like three. It like, did three. Did you watch them? No, I don't. I well, I don't. I don't like horror movies that are people getting murdered. Yeah, that hor- does, in horrible well, fashion. Like, some would argue stuff like Hellraiser that no Phantasm. one in the Saw movies are ever m- murdered <laughs> per se. They kind of no. are just put in the traps that kill them. Okay, that's a in a court of law. That's murder. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't normally like horror stuff either because I don't like monsters and like I like monster movies because the monsters look cool. Yeah, but like not, I, monsters don't scare me because monsters aren't real. There's there's a difference between monster movies and like let me just murder people. A, like a crazy person putting people in murder but, situations. But, but Josh, the reason he puts them in those situations is so that they overcome the challenge. So that they become better people. He's not doing it for the greater good. He's he, a murderer. He is. He totally is. Well, who, the original. So who, whoever happened to be Jigsaw, and then um um, because there were like multiple people. Right? There, yeah, the original. So it's kind of okay. If there's any big uh, saw heads out there, the original. Is that the fan base? The I, like I, Brown I think I just made that up. David Kramer. Is it David Kramer? It's definitely Kramer. So the same was the original. Jigsaw killer, right? Okay. And he he had this idea that you would put people in these traps, and then th- there's always a way out of them. By the way, it's never a trap, and then there's like a clicking clock, and then you die. Like there's always a way out. Oh yeah. You just have to do the thing to look at you. You have to do the horrible thing. You just have to do the horrible thing to get yourself out. But there's always a way out, and sometimes the traps are even set up in such a way that when you get out, Jigsaw himself is intertwined in it in such a way that his fate. Is wrapped up in whether or not you get out as well, but, but after, it's never the actual jigsaw, right? No, no, it, the third one, man, holy smokes, yeah, see, man! I, he he puts his life in someone else's hands, which is part of his challenge. It's amazing, but spoiler it? alert: I read, ha 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 ha! Spoiler alert: Jigs, the original jigsaw killer does die, and other people take up that mantle, yeah. and then his original message. That's why the series will never end. Does get corrupted. Uh, this newest trailer does kind of seem that the message is from the original John Kramer. That's his name, John Kramer, who was the first Jigsaw killer. Because so he had this cancer in his head, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know this? Does no. anyone care? I'll just talk I don't, about it. Anyway. I literally like. He has this cancer in his head. That did you ever see the movie um, with Tom? Tom, not Tom Hanks. Tom Jones. No, Phenomenon? <laughs> what was that movie? Who's oh, that uh, that's John Travolta. John Travolta. And remember he had that cancer in his head, but that made him like super intelligent for yeah. a short amount of time? Think of that. So that's why he's able to do these giant Rube Go- Hey, hey. Rube Goldberg style traps slash yeah. challenges slash chances for personal development. And he, he overcame his cancer. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, but... I, I love these movies. And when I said that I love this movie, Josh looked at me like I just grew, like, seven heads. Okay. Do you like them because of the Rube Goldberg stuff? Because of these crazy traps? I like them because of the Rube Goldberg stuff. And I like them because the, the, there's usually a twist or something involved. Like, you think that you know... Look at you! I really wish this was video because half the fun of this cast is, like, <laughs> the looks you give me the whole time. It's... Okay. But, uh, but uh, and then another thing I like about it, too, is that usually there's some kind of, like, ironic twist to the trap. Like, for example, like, real easy one is a guy uh, attempted suicide, so he cut himself, right? Okay. He survived. But now, in order to live, he has to walk through, like, a bunch of razor wire. So to live, you, it's must, ironic. you must now cut yourself over and over again. It's, God. It's, so, Josh, the, you only give Marvel movies three out of... Five beards. Want to play a game? It's I don't I don't like these movies because basically people are getting tortured because 
And like Yeah, they are. Like <laughs> like yeah, there's always a way out, but they don't make it out. Some and, people and, do. I don't I don't like watching people like like there's a difference between like some guy kicking everybody's butt and like some of them something like the raid. The the raid Oh yeah. Especially yeah. the raid two is really bloody and like some gory stuff happens in that movie, but um but it's still a cool action movie. I don't know. Me, well, also, I should say that I know that Saw is not for everyone. I'm just saying why I love it. I understand why a lot of people don't like it. Yeah. No. But I, for myself, I'm very happy it's back. And speaking of um, people surviving Saw traps, in one of the movies, there's a Saw survivor, uh, what's the, th- like, uh, group, like, meetup group. Like, there's enough survivors to have oh. a meetup group where they yeah. talk about their, their Saw experience to get through it, which is really cool. Good for them. Is it? And then they have a conversation, which is really interesting, about whether or not they, like, the people that survived, if they are, like, stronger because of it. Spoiler alert, a lot of them just think they were in a horrible torture trap. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm just saying. I'm just saying I like it. You're just saying. I'm just just saying, guys. All right. Um... (sighs) Yeah, you looking at that? Oh, man. Do we have a goal? No. I don't care. Do you? I just I, at in like an hour I'm gonna go catch some Pokemon. I, there's that Pokemon Go Fest going on right oh, now, sweet. and like it's going on in Chicago, and like the people in Chicago, if they catch a certain amount of Pokemon, then it unlocks a certain amount of Pokemon, or it unlocks something for us, and then we have to go out and catch Pokemon, and and it unlocks for someone else. At, well, for everyone, like there, there's just like the people at the event. That's really and, smart. I, is, I don't know. You know what I think of whenever I think of Chicago? My favorite person who lives in Chicago. Do you know how that is? Uh, <laughs> Chicago Ted. No. No. Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Remember Scruff McGruff? I, yeah. No. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember the commercials. That, that's our time. That's nobody else's time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the nostalgia so, that our specific generation so has. So you've got to, after we're done recording, you're going to go <clears> ahead and catch some Pokemon in Pokemon. Yes, I'm gonna go swelter outside. What do you think? I know it's really hot out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I I don't care. Yeah. I'm from Texas. This is I'm used to. I guess it is hot in Texas, right? (laughs) I guess I look at you. I I don't think about Texas all the time. I don't know. No, it's I. I Let me ask you this: I like the heat. When you lived in Texas, and Mm -hmm. don't don't be offended. Did you wear a cowboy hat when you lived in Texas? No, No, never. People do though, right? People. There are just as many people here in Maryland wearing cowboy hats. The same exact... So, wait. I would say... On the record, same people per capita in Maryland wearing cowboy hats as people in Texas. I would say so, yes. Wow. Because this... We're, we're still... I'm learning so much about Texas right now. <laughs> like... I, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I did not know. I just figured everyone was wearing hats. Okay. I t- just know what I see in movies. Well, tell me... <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, there's no basin in the Alamo. Have you ever been in a, have you ever been in a noon shootout? <laughs> How many saloons? I just get all, just get all your terrible Texas stereotypes out of the way right now. Are, are, are from Texas. I'm so sorry. I'm really learning about Texas right now. Is that really where Texas Red House comes from? Probably. Probably not. No? I don't think so. Are there a bunch of roadhouses in Texas? Yes. Really? There's a bunch of roadhouses here. <laughs> I've been to one, I think. Yeah? Maybe. I don't know if that counts as a roadhouse. So, okay, so that's what you're doing after this. You know what I'm doing after this? What are you Recording? doing? Recording? I'm going to go back to my mom's place and hang out with my daughter. Probably going to do this on her a lot. Did <laughs> she enjoy that? I hope so. Kind of. A little bit. And then I'm going <laughs> to... You gonna, can't tell. I'm going to grab her... F- sometimes she's into it. Sometimes she's not. She's still, like, learning laughing. Like, mm-hmm. she's still, you know... She's smiling a lot more, which is great. Like, not, not like... When ba- if any of you don't have babies, you probably know this. When babies are born, they don't know like what a smile is, or even like yeah. how like they don't they don't know like this is how I convey emotions through smiles. They just know how to scream and cry. Yeah, so if they're feeling good, it's probably going to be conveyed through like a silence, <laughs> you know that like. Well, it okay. There's like happy screaming and uh, angry screaming. Well, yeah, and... yeah. There's like variations, but anyway, now she's smiling. Is and... that a problem with you because she's hard of hearing? Like sometimes you can't really. Uh, does she have more trouble conveying her emotions? Emotions, I guess. It's hard. We don't know. So my daughter wears hearing aids. These little hearing aids in her head that, in theory, help her learn, uh, help her listen and hear as well as us. In theory, or close to it. 
Yeah. But we'll never know exactly how much she can hear until she's old enough to say, I can hear that. Yeah. I can't hear... You know, we can only take guesses. We take her to the audio- audiologist, Dr. Diaz, mm-hmm. from Hearing Professionals. She's the best audiologist in St. Mary's County. And she is... She's... I'll tell you some stories. She's amazing. And um, they can put sensors on Freya's head and kind of tell, like, okay, she should be able to hear this, should be able to hear this. And the hearing aids don't just amplify. So it doesn't just amplify everything in the room, but they're so sophisticated that they amplify certain tones and de-amplify others. For example... It's a filter. Yeah, even with her hearing loss, I believe she can still hear me, even without her hearing aids, and just because of the tone of my voice, but she can't hear Amanda. But to answer your question, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, Mm -hmm. right now we're meeting with a local... There's a group... I don't know if this is a national group or just a statewide group, infants and toddlers, where they offer their services to families. I think their their criteria is your child has to have 60% deficiency or more in any of their senses, so mental capacity, mm. hearing, or whatever. And we're meeting with them, and right now it's mostly just seeing how the hearing aid's going. But later when she grows up and starts talking, it's going to be like speech development. Like how much is she hearing, and is she hearing enough so that she will you know learn speech on a regular yeah. you know and so, so to answer your question we don't know you know okay. yeah we don't know but we do know when we put the hearing aids in we did notice differences in her behavior for example her and this became this became the baby talk but um when it's she was her is baby when talk. she was little the whole story yeah is that the name of the episode baby talk yeah. the um when she was little like little before she she got her hearing aids when she was three months old before that she would grunt a lot like make this uh, 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 and the reason and she would never coo or make any of those other noises you talked about yeah and the reason for that is because she couldn't hear when she made like a happy noise she couldn't hear it but she could feel the uh, so she would always make those once she starts wearing the hearing aids um after a little bit of time she stopped doing that and started making baby noises you know which yeah. is so, so that's like our little indicator that she can hear and that she's hearing enough that she's picking stuff up. So that, it's a good milestone. Yeah, and that's part of the reason we're learning ASL because we don't know later how much, you know, how much yeah. it is. So that's there good. it is. Long story short, you don't know. So yeah. whenever we're saying things and I start signing them, it's because I'm trying to learn them so later I can communicate with my daughter, Josh. You can't fault a man for doing that. No, no, no. I just, yeah. if we're trying to sit there and, you know, have a good friendly you're just, time. You're just, upset about the sign itself, poop. I, right. I just, it's like, I just don't want you to, it's like, this I don't want to hear this about. Is, this is a good one. Lion. 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 Yeah, I like, some are better than others. This is one I love. Surprised. Huh? <gasps> Surprised. Great audio, right? Yeah, no, Surprised. it's real good. Yeah, yeah. And just, just don't do the poop sign while we're yeah, trying to, I like, know. It's eat. hard because when you deal with babies, it's almost all poop, right? Yeah, no. With babies, it's all poop. That. that eating. That, more. Milk. Change. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's everything. Oh, sleep. I think sleep. I think by the time she's Tired. actually going to be communicating with you through sign language, she's going to be over the like change poop. Probably, but I mean, those are the first signs. You know, the, yeah. those are like the signs you use, like because yeah. you you know. Hey, if anyone had do, are we going to set up an email for this? Yeah. Have we set it up yet? No. Okay, guys, listen out for an email. If any of you guys I'll have put a, it in, in the quote unquote show notes, a daughter with a, a hearing disability, I would love to hear your story. Or if you like video games or something. Oh, if you have any opinions on the Marvel movies, tell us how many beards out of five you would give them. If you exist, send us an email. If you, if you, if we're just shouting into the void, let us know. That's infinitely <laughs> echoing. Hey guys, is this it? I think we're done. Hey, I think thanks we're good. so much. I, our friendship, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for listening. Josh and I love each and every one of you. Like our, uh, like the. The most cherished thing in our lives. Except you. You know who you are. (laughs) 